Just finished putting a beautiful radius on this PVC tube right here. And I used that guy with the router bit. Why? I'm not telling. That's not the point. The point is this situation was very noisy. Okay, and all this stuff. You want quality outcomes when you use these noisy tools. And I observed my behavior over like a year. I noticed that the, the little tiny defects wind up much more frequently when I'm rushing. And I'm always rushing a little bit. I'm just a little antsy to get it finished and turn off the tool when stuff is loud. And I only noticed that because I got these new headphones and they're USB-C and they're noise canceling. And okay, these are designed for music. And 10 years ago, you'd need a hundred bucks for a good pair of noise canceling headphones. But what this microcontroller inside is really good at is addressing high pitch or high frequency, very continuous noises that, that not like speech, but like the, the noise of a machine. The crazy thing is you can buy these $20 headphones, maybe 15 that are squeezing your noggin really hard to keep the seal around your ears. And that's a little uncomfortable. Or you can spend 20 bucks and get these that are so cozy and it's a gentle squeeze on the noggin. I really, mm. so I don't know if it's just me, but once I use these uh, on any noisy processes, which are usually dangerous anyway, and so I'm on high alert for all five senses on any you know issues, I'm mostly concerned for my safety and not, not concerned with the, the craftsmanship. So this was all last year and the quality of work has gone up just because there's better focus when we use those machines. I don't think the brand really matters, but this is those and they've been added under safety equipment. So open lab project, you go to tools and then you go to safety. So there's a couple photos and the links and then I'll also add the links. Um, here they are in the description of this video.